welcome back to my channel. So, a while ago, I was actually on my way to my sister's school. Um, and I didn't catch the bus because I didn't have my car. So many things happened this day. So, I was walking to the bus. I'm walking down the street and there's um, this guy outside. He's like doing yard work or something. And he's like, are you Indian? And of course, there's this white guy. And I was like, no. Like, I looked at him and I'm, I laughed. And I was like, no. And then you can tell he's like, oh, oh, you're not? And I was like, no. And I just like kept walking. And you can tell he was like, he wanted to be like, well, what are you, you know? <laughs> but I'm like, that's none of your business, whether I am Indian or not. I thought it was super weird, like, what the fuck? Like, who just asks that? Who's just like, oh, hey, is this what you are? Like, that's, I don't understand the mind process of the people that do this, which is mainly white people. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand how, what makes you, what, it, why does it matter to you? Why are you that metiche that you have to be like, oh, what are you? Like, What's it to you? And I walked because I was going to tell him, like, no, I'm Mexican. But I was like, no, he doesn't need to know. Like, he just asked me if I'm Indian. No, I'm not. Okay, move on, you know? And I get on the bus and I'm, like, listening to my music and stuff. And I get to feds. And it's so... If you've never been on the bus, I highly suggest it. Like, even if it's just one day, it's definitely very humbling. Um, and I feel like you get to see... A different part of your city that you don't really see when you're in a car you know because when you're in a car like you're listening to music you're talking to people you're talking to your friends like you're focused on the road and that's it you know you're focused on what's going on going on in the road where on the bus it's like you have to walk to one bus station to the other or you have to walk to your location so you're like literally seeing what's going on not only on the road but like in the streets too um so i definitely recommend it but anyways so I got off the bus, and as soon as I get off, get off the bus, there was this man with a whole mattress just at the bus stop. Like, literally just a whole bed mattress sleeping. And I looked at him, and I, like, instantly felt bad because it was kind of, it was a bit chilly that day. And I was just like, dang, you know, like, to be homeless and to have your mattress out here and just be sleeping on the bus stop, like... I don't know, like it just, like I said, it gives you a different outlook on life. Um, it definitely makes you appreciate what you have. Like, after this day, I was like, thank God I have a car and a roof over my head and like, just so many things. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, so I got off and I instantly saw that and then just started walking. And I always have my earphones on and I'm half deaf. I can't hear in one ear. <laughs> so, um... I always have my earphones on, but I, when I'm walking, like, if I'm on the bus, sometimes I will play music. If there's too many people, sometimes I'll pause it because I'm a people watcher, and I like to listen to conversations, so sometimes, like, you know, just be on alert. Like, especially a girl, like, out and about by yourself on the bus, like, you have to be alert. Again, if you've never been on the bus before, be ready for cat calls, be ready to be called mommy, be ready, you know, it depends on the area that you live in, but if you're on feds and you're taking the bus, I'll be ready for all of that. Be ready for whistling, be ready for people staring down at you, people for like driving and looking back at you, you know, be ready for it all. Like, that, especially on feds, yeah, from like old men, young men, like kids, from women, like bitches be making you when you're on the bus, like, be ready for all of that. But anyways, I cross the street and then I cross the street and like there's like all these people on the bus stop. And I'm sitting down and like, again, I put my earphones on. The reason why I also put my earphones on is because I don't like people talking to me. Like, don't talk to me. Don't tell me nothing. Like, if you don't have them on, people will talk to you. Like, guys will talk to you. Kids will talk to you. Women will talk to you. Like, but definitely guys will try and approach you. And so I'm just like, no, screw that. So, um, again, I like put them on. I wasn't listening to anything. I was just like watching. Literally, I'm a people watcher. So it's just like watching cars go by and I, I love watching people. Like I love, you know, especially when they're in their cars and I'm like walking somewhere or I'm sitting down somewhere because people, they think that their car is like blocks them away from the world and it doesn't and it's just super hilarious because you see people like jamming out, you see people picking their nose, you see people like stuffing their face, you see people doing their makeup, texting, like fighting, like you'll see people fighting, like... I don't know, I, I love it. And then this guy starts walking, and I, like, look, and the way he's walking, I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude is fucked up. Like, you can tell, he's drunk. And, guys, this is at, like, 
2 p.m., right? And he is, like, wasted. Like, you can tell. He's stumbling and stuff. And he, there was, like, two benches or whatever. And he sits on the other bench, and it's a little further apart. So I was like, okay, cool, you know, don't come near me. Like, just keep it over there. Um, and the bus comes, and of course it's not my bus. And of course, everybody but him gets on. And so I'm just like, great. Like, so I'm just here and left alone with this dude, right? And me personally, I don't, if you're drunk as hell, I'm not going to talk to you. Like, I'm not going to, I'm just not going to talk to you. Like, it can, may come off as bitchy, but I'm, I'm not going to sit here and entertain it. Especially if you're drunk, like, I'm going to go nowhere with you, you know, like, even if I'm like, leave me alone, like, I feel like that's going to be an argument, you know, or you're just going to lose your shit, like, I don't know, I don't entertain it, so anyways, like, everybody got on the bus or whatever, it was just us two, and he, like, starts walking again, and I'm like, oh my god, like, here, he's going to come, like, I just know it, this guy's going to try and talk to me, and sure enough, like, he kind of stands by the bench where I'm at, and he tries to say something, and I have my earphones on, so I just play it, like, I'm not even listening, and I'm just like looking the other way, you know, looking at cars, looking at my phone. And I can hear everything he's saying. And he's just like, hey, hey. He's like, hey, mommy. He's like, hey, mommy, I'm talking to you. And I'm like, no, bro. Like, leave the fuck alone. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer you. But anyways. Um, so I just ignore him the whole time. And he's saying something. And then he's like, alright, then fuck you. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, still, I'm like not even making faces because I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> leave me alone. Um, and then this other bus comes and I get on and of course he gets on! So I was like near the end and he literally comes, like, as after I like walked, some other person like got up and like moved, so he could have sat at the front. And of course he didn't, he came all the way to the end. I've been on the bus before, so I have ways to where I'm like, don't sit by me, don't talk to me, don't look at me, you know, like, I put my, like, I'll sit on the edge and put my backpack next to me. So then he comes and sits in the middle. And he, like, sees me, and then he moves to sit where he's, like, right across from me. At this point, like, I was, I had turned on my music, but once I saw him sit down, I was like, uh-uh. And so I paused my music, and I'm just, like, listening to his conversation. And same thing, like, I, like, like just put my arm down, and I'm, like, or put my arm up, and I'm, like, looking that way, you know, like, looking towards the front of the bus um, to, like, let him know I can't hear you, like, I have my earphones, I can't see you. Like, leave me alone. And then he's like, hey, hey. And then, like, I can see from, like, the corner of my eye. And I can see him, like, leaning in. And he's like, hey, hey. And he's trying to talk to me, trying to get my attention. And I'm like, I'm still not going to talk to you. Like, I have nothing to fucking say to you. So he's like, yeah, hey, hey. And I'm like, no, listen to him. He's like, oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. He starts telling, like, the guy. He's like, she's beautiful. And at first, I'm like, ah, I know, like, but... Anyways, like, I'm taken. But anyways, and then he tries calling me again, and I'm still, like, pretending like I don't fucking hear you, bro. Like, I do not hear you. And then he gets mad, and he's like, okay, fuck you then, bitch. And he's like, fuck you then. Fuck her, huh? And he, like, turns and looks at the guy that, like, is next to him. He's like, fuck her, huh? And the guy, he's like, no, nah, I don't know. And I'm like, at this moment, I'm like, shit, I don't have anything, like, pepper spray, I don't have like a shank, I don't have, and it sounds extreme, if you haven't taken the bus it sounds extreme, but literally if you're a girl and you're riding the bus and you're by yourself, you need to have something, like something, and so I literally I like pull my backpack around and I grab my pen, um, and I'm like try me bro, like I will stab the fuck out of you with this pen, like you come near me, you know, cause he's literally right across, and he's drunk, and now he's angry, cause you know he called me beautiful and I turned him down, like, and so I'm just like, crap, like, and so, yeah, like, I just have my pen, I have it in my hand, and I, like, you know, I'm ready, like, I have it in my hand, and I'm just like, bro, like, you come near me, I will shank you, like, I will stab you in the neck, stab you in the face, like, I'm not playing this game. I'm, like, looking on the bus, and I see, like, there's these, like, younger girls on there, and, you know, they're, like, going to school and stuff, like, probably middle school, high school. And then I start realizing, like, that's sad. Like, here I am. I'm 25 years old, and I'm dealing with this shit. And I'm just like, these girls, I know they ride the bus on the daily. And I'm just like, that's so sad that here, like, on feds, like, that's the thing. Like, people can be drunk. People can be just, even not drunk. Like, they could just be fucking pedophiles. And they're over here looking at these girls, you know, and, like, 
it's just like, damn, you know, like, it, it definitely makes me want to be like, I don't want my sisters riding the bus, you know, like, there's a bunch of perverts everywhere, like, drunk people, like, even just assholes, like, you never know when someone's gonna be like, a fucking dick and do something to my sisters, or like, try and steal something from them, or try and do something to them, you know, like, even not just guys, like, sometimes it's girls too, and so I'm just thinking about them, and I'm like, damn, you know, and this girl, she keeps looking back too, like, she's just like, like, you can tell she's like, don't come over here. <laughs> And me too at that point, like, because she looks hella younger. I'm like, yeah, bro, like, if you don't bother anyone, bother me. Don't go towards the little ones, like, leave the little ones alone. And then sure enough, like, he gets off the bus. Um, and he's literally, like, he's literally, like, two bus stops away from where I was going to get off. And so my fear was that he's going to get off where I'm getting off and he's just going to follow me, you know? So, yeah, so it was just, like, intense. And so moral of the story is... That day was fucking crazy. From the get-go, like, dude worrying about what race I am. Other dude drunk as fuck trying to get at me. Like, it's just madness. But I, even though it was crazy, though, like I said, it's so soothing. And so, like, it just really does humble you. Like, literally after that, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I am so glad I have a car. <laughs> and I am so glad, like, I do not have to. To ride the bus on a daily basis anymore because that was my life like I used to have to take the bus take the light rail and take it at late times like I used to take it at like from 7 to 10 p.m. like I used to take it early in the morning at 5 a.m. where it's like super dark and you can't see anything you know like dangerous times when it's like this is when you're most vulnerable and I, I took the bus then and like literally like taking the bus makes you a badass because <laughs> it's like you kind of have to be unafraid you know like you have to be ready for stuff and I was like it, like I said it'd be five in the morning and I'd be ready like I'd be half asleep but I'd be ready like try me and you go and learn a day you know I used to have my pepper spray back then um not always which that's a whole other story but and then I used to come home and I'd come home at like seven come home on the bus anywhere between five and like seven p.m. And, you know, you see, like, now it's, like, three, and it's super dark, like, so, yeah, it definitely, like, gets you ready for stuff. But I definitely, like, if you haven't been on the bus, like, if you've ever taken the RTD before, I definitely recommend it. It's so humbling, and it's, it's good to see, like, this is what, the struggle, you know? So, I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> Life is crazy, but it's been better. So, alright guys, we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye!